consulting with local scientists, Craig hopes to test a revolutionary technology that he's helped develop. As a kid, I could remember watching a Shark Week episode, and this episode focused on this shark that was entangled in a beach net. So that inspired me. That made me want to find a way to permit uh, sharks and, and swimmers or surfers to peacefully coexist within the marine environment. Is there something unique about these sharks that we could target to keep them away from swimmers? Craig's research begins with the electrosensory organs of the shark, tiny pores that help detect the electrical signals emitted by prey. It's suspected that these organs can sense magnetic fields as well. Sharks may navigate thousands of miles by feeling variations in the Earth's weak magnetic field. And that's where I began to wonder, can you use a much stronger magnetic field, something that's orders of magnitude greater in strength than the Earth's magnetic field, to overwhelm the shark's electrosensory system and deter them? So Craig starts researching the effects of strong permanent magnets on shark behavior. And what I began to notice is when these sharks came in close range of these magnets, I was able to elicit these really strong deterrent responses. I had bait adjacent to these magnets. These sharks would come in for the bait, and at the last second, you'd get these really violent aversion responses. Testing in the Bahamas, Craig builds a barrier of magnets around 20 pounds of bait. Over the span of 18 days, we continuously baited 24 hours a day. And we had up to 23 bull sharks around the barrier at once. Not once did a bull shark enter through the barrier to get that bait. They wanted to, but it was that barrier, the magnetic fields that kept the sharks at bay. The bull sharks find the sensation of the magnets so overwhelming that they quickly turn away. <laughs> 